Hi, I'm Orion Nebulous, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the Google Nexus 7. I got some additional tools for it. Um, just got it this in today, and I'm going to be showing it to you guys. Let me see if you can see that. Okay, this is a external Wi-Fi card. The Wi-Fi card that comes inside of the Google Nexus 7 does not work with NetHunter, so I'm going to be showing you guys uh, full capability of monitoring mode on an external Wi-Fi card and some other cool things I got. But anyways, uh, hope you enjoy. Okay, well I'm going to be showing off a couple different things. Um, here's that Wi-Fi card. I'm going to put a link in the description. This is the best one I've found because it's uh, so small, but it yet it can actually like work on this. Um, there's a lot of ridiculous size ones people are using. Um, you don't really need some ridiculous one. Anyways, um, I'm also gonna put a link to this thing because I found it really cool. It was like 12 or 14 dollars. It comes with a micro USB hub um, and this, which is a converter from one to three. It comes with a mouse that you can use with the tablet, um, a stylist, and some really nice big clean cloths, microfibers. It's they're really nice and get three of them. Anyways, I'm going to turn this thing on, and I want you guys to be well aware that when this happens. Um, the most cards they they want to flash a, a color to indicate the fact that they are actually doing something. And uh, if you're sorry, I'm having troubles here trying to stick this onto a MacGyver stand. Okay, I think it's holding, or it might just fall over randomly. Anyways. Um, It might just act like it's like it just no no sign of life at all. And if that happens, just reboot your tablet while it's still plugged in, and everything should be good. Um, and you just want it to start blinking. The second it starts blinking, you're active and it's working. So that means that we can go in. Here. All right, so now we're inside of uh, my tablet. So you can actually see what I'm doing here. So okay, I'm launching NetHunter Home while I have my card working. This will not work on your internal, so that's that's the whole point of this. I'm gonna turn on Metasploit, turn on Apache, and turn on SSH. Not like we really need SSH right now, but hell, who knows? Okay, so we're gonna go to our Kali launcher, and we're gonna watch la launch Wi-Fi. So by just launching this, it's proof that this is working. The fact that it is able to see those lands right now just shows that it is actually working. So I'm going to throw it into number two and then it's enabling it on monitor mode on LAN 2. Give it a moment. Okay, so now it's actually searching. That's my Wi-Fi. Um, it's my neighbor's Wi-Fi. That's a broken Wi-Fi name. Still searching. Oh, I'm gonna press Control C on my little tiny ass keyboard, and might as well just all. Okay, well I guess since I, I did this earlier, I'm gonna overwrite this one. Okay, so now I'm doing a handshake with my internet. That's the virus.exe. And there's no personal data here. And I wasn't really planning on like showing you guys full on how to do all this different stuff and what you can really do with Wi-Fi. I just really wanted to show you the fact that like once you add an external Wi-Fi card and that this one does work with it, that you are actually able to get into monitor mode 
with an Nexus 7, and it turns your little tablet into a whole computer. I mean, um, I'm going to show one more thing. Uh, I'm going to turn this off, but uh, I'm going to show you one more thing, which is uh, just all this running, and I'm going to use a separate keyboard. And now that other keyboard is going to be a desktop keyboard, just to show you guys like how much this can actually use. It, it is ridiculous, but I'm just going to use a generic Dell keyboard. I'm pretty sure it's going to work. I have one little extra addition I like to do. Here, I'm going to turn on this little light here when I'm making videos off of my tablet. <laughs> it's just a microphone that uh, I got off of. Uh, this here headset is a SoundCloud or Sound Blaster Titanic Rage. Um, it, it's just, I don't know, makes the sound a lot better at least I think. Okay, so I got this generic Dell keyboard here and I think it is fully functioning on there. Alright, so if we go back to that terminal emulator, we have four successful WPS attacks which is only 0.03% <laughs> but anyways um, I got a clear note thing so I don't know what this is just downloaded it had some sensitive material on the other so anyway I guess that song's broken sorry music okay so this is all coming from a Dell keyboard I mean like you, you can hear me clicking on it in the background. It, it, this is amazing that I, you can actually do something like this. Like, I, I, I don't know how that could be more awesome. Um, this whole thing is now... Oh my god, you can alt-tab. <laughs> Recents. Oh god, that is so cool. Oh, okay, so... Let's go back here. Ah, fucked up. We'll get back in here. Sweet. Okay, can I? Oh my god, I can tab control in this. Oh, this is beautiful. I mean, I guess I should be able to. It's like full Linux. So. Yeah, um, if you guys want to know more on different things you guys can do with this, uh, let me know. This is just a basic video right now. Um, I'm, I'm just getting, I just got this today and I'm toying with it myself and just checking out all the little things we can do. But, uh, yeah, like and subscribe to my channel and uh, I'm gonna make more videos like this and you guys can request whatever you want to see um, I'm gonna try and put as much information out there uh, you can visit my website it's a piece of shit right now but I uh, just don't have time to work on it but anyways uh, peace out